Welcome to the Capital One Lounge. Ever wondered what makes an airport lounge truly exceptional? Join me as I explore the premium amenities from signature cocktails to Peloton bikes where you can take a sip, relax, and stay fit while enjoying the sights. This is one of the airport lounges you won't want to miss. The Capital One Lounge is located in Terminal D, just between gates D21 and D22. The lounge shares the same engines as the American Flagship Lounge, and to get to the Capital One Lounge, you will enter through these sliding doors. As you take the elevator up, to the right will be the American Flagship Lounge, and to the left will be the Capital One Lounge. Here, we will take a left. To learn about the entry requirements for this lounge, stay tuned as I'll detail what's necessary for access a bit later in the video. Near the main entrance of the lounge, you will find the grab and go station, perfect for grabbing food and drinks if you are in a hurry. I will also discuss this a bit more later in the video. Much of the food and beverages are in the central hub of the lounge that you see here with each section of the central hub having all sorts of different dishes for you to enjoy. I have to say, the food here is a step above what you'd find in other lounges and it's also incredibly tasty. What I love about this lounge are the small details and decor that enhance its welcoming atmosphere and modern design. It perfectly blends comfort and style, making your travel experience exceptional. You'll also find a variety of other amenities that you see here, which we'll go over shortly and check some of them out. First, let's start off with the bathroom. This is not just an ordinary bathroom, it's a step above what you would find in the main terminal. The bathroom also features soothing ambient music, creating a spa-like atmosphere. Just outside the bathroom, you will find a hallway that will take you to the other amenities. To use these other amenities, you will need to reserve at the front desk of the lounge, and it's usually a very short wait. The relaxation room was one of my favorites. It has a starry sky with changing colors and also has a closet for storage. There is also a large window which offers great views of the tarmac, perfect for plane spotting. The highlight of this room, however, is a relaxation pod where you can relax or even take a nap. So I am here at the Capital One relaxation room and I'm going to show you guys around. This is pretty cool. There's also different buttons um, you can press here that changes the mood depending on what you're in the mood for. Right now it's just relaxing music. So it's pretty, pretty cool. So to get to one of these relaxation rooms, you'll need to make a reservation at the front desk at the main entrance of the Capital One Lounge and they'll be able to get you in here. For me, it took about a five to 10 minute wait uh, once I made the reservation. So it wasn't that long, but it depends on the time of the day and the crowd. So definitely recommend checking this out. There's also a shower suite available for reservation. However, with only one suite, there might be a wait time if it's occupied. Across from the shower suite, you will also find the Peloton bike room. The Peloton bike room will also require a reservation, which could be made in the front desk. You'll also find plenty of cozy spots to settle into, including armchairs and sofas grouped around tables. My favorite was the section next to the bar area, which offers some of the best views of the tarmac. There are also plenty of charging ports all over the seating area, perfect for charging your devices. Capital One really impressed me with a variety of food options and I found the food to be of high quality and very delicious. Food, top notch. Mm. A 
Apart from the food, one of the highlights was the stunning views of the planes taking off and landing. I highly recommend grabbing a seat by the window to enjoy the nice close-up views, especially this view of the Airbus A321 pulling in. Behind from where I was sitting, you'll find the Capital One Lounge Bar, a delightful spot to unwind. The staff here were very friendly and all the drinks for the menu were complimentary. I must admit, the quality of some of these drinks was very impressive, adding to the overall enjoyment of the lounge experience. The drink I got here is a Turtle Creek. It's really, really good and I highly recommend it. I gotta say, this is one of the nicest lounges there is, and I highly recommend getting a Venture X credit card if you do not have one. So to get access to this lounge, you will need a Venture X credit card, and you can bring up to two guests as well. If you don't have the Venture X card, you can also enter a lounge with the Venture card or the Spark Miles card. If you don't have any of these credit cards, you can also pay $65 per person for access. In my opinion, the value is well worth it for what you get inside the lounge. I do have these bags at the front desk if you wish to grab one and grab food or drinks or anything else that you may need for your next flight. As we head back towards the main entrance of the lounge, we'll check out the grab and go station and stock up on some food and drinks for the next flight. The grab and go was constantly restocked with different items depending on the time of the day and there's always something to eat. To the left of the grab and go station, you will also see a snack station that is also grab and go. You will also find utensils right next to the grab and go station. So a couple of things I got for the to go box. I got this deli sandwich. I got a Mediterranean salad. I got some water. Some tiramisu and the ancient green salad. Pretty good. And all of it can fit in this bag. I gotta say, this lounge definitely lived up to the hype. Even if you don't have the credit card, the $65 price tag in my opinion is worth it for the comfort, amenities, and the quality of food it provides. Especially the grab and go station which you can get food and drinks to go if you're in a hurry. So now that you've seen everything this lounge has to offer, let me know what you think about the Capital One Lounge in the comments below. Also, if you found this video helpful and useful, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe. Until next time.